Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to simplify and evaluate this given complex problem that involves not only the radicals but also the exponent as well. And moreover, we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here I have just copied down our problem. Now let's focus on these radicals at the denominator. This radical is of index 8 and this radical is of index 4 and this radical is of index 2. So let's go ahead and manipulate this fraction by multiplying and dividing by this uh, 8th root of 7 minus 1 and here I have multiplied and divided by this number. So we can write this our given problem as on the numerator is going to become 6 times the 8th root of 7 minus 1 on the top divided by all these radicals in the denominator and then plus 1 and then everything power 16. Now in this our next step let's focus on these two factors in the denominator. I have just copied it down over here. And now let's recall our radical notation as you can see over here and this is equal to x power 1 over n which is an exponential notation. So therefore our this problem could be written as 7 power 1 over 8 plus 1 and then times 7 power 1 8 minus 1. 1. Now we can see that these two factors represent the product of the sum and the difference. So therefore we are going to use this well-known formula a minus b times a plus b equal to a square minus b square. Therefore I can write these factors as 7 power 1 over 8 and then square and then minus 1 square and now we are going to use this power rule so this problem is going to become 7 power 1 8 times 2 and then minus 1 square is same as 1 and here when we multiply these exponent 2 times 1 8 is same as 1 fourth so 7 power 1 fourth minus 1 and now once again this 7 power 1 fourth could be written as in terms of radical notation as the fourth root of 7 and minus 1. So thus we can see that this part has been simplified to this uh, fourth root of 7 minus 1. 1. So therefore in our this next step this part has been simplified to this one and now in this next step let's focus on this part in the denominator and here I have just copied it down. And now we are going to convert these radical numbers into exponential notation so this could be written as 7 power 1 over 4 and then plus 1 and then times 7 power 1 over 4 then minus 1 and since this represents the product of the sum and the difference so therefore we are going to use this formula once again so this could be written as 7 power 1 over 4 and then square and then minus 1 square and now we are going to use this power rule so that means we are going to multiply out these two nested exponents so that is going to give us 7 power 1 over 2 and then minus 1 square is same as 
one and now let's convert this one into radical form so this could be written as a square root of seven and then minus one so thus we can see that this part these factors have been simplified to square root of seven minus one so in this our next step this denominator this part has been simplified to this one as you can see and now let's focus on this part in the denominator i have just copy it down over here and here we can see that these factors represent the product of the sum and the difference so therefore we are going to use this formula once again so this could be written as simply square root of seven and then square minus one square and now you can see that square and square root they undo each other we ended up with seven minus one square is same as one seven minus one is going to give us six so therefore we can replace this denominator part by this six so we can write this one as six times the eighth root of seven minus one on the top divided by this thing is six and then plus one power 16. Now we can see that this six and six they cancel each other out so we simply ended up with the, the eighth root of seven minus one and then this plus one and then power 16 all right and now we can see this negative one and positive one they cancel each other out so we simply ended up with the eighth root of seven and then power 16 and we know that uh, eighth root of seven could be written as seven power one eighth and then a power 16 and now let's go ahead and use this power rule so this could be written as a seven power one eighth time 16 and now in this next step let's go ahead and multiply out these exponents one eighth times 16 when you multiply them that is going to give us 2 so thus we got 7 power 2 and 7 power 2 is same as 49 as our answer so thus our simplified answer to this problem turns out to be 49 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye